Hey all, this is Anjali and in this video we are going to discuss previous year question papers specifically 2017 question paper outside Delhi. Like in my previous video I started with the MySQL thing but as per the request of my viewers like you all were asking me to start with Java first to solve Java questions first because you are having main problem in Java. So I am starting with Java first later on I will be covering DBMS. But still, I want to remind you one thing that DBMS has more weightage. It's for 30 marks and Java is for 20. You should prepare both of them well, but just give first preference to DBMS. When you think you are surely done with it, you're fine with it, then you pick up Java and fix up for your, these 20 marks, right? Okay, so as per the discussions, we are going to start with Java first. So this is your exam or this is your previous year paper for 2017 outside Delhi and in this I'm going to discuss question number two first. So in this video we are discussing question number two and the next one we'll be discussing question number four and we'll be doing these question number two and four for all the previous year papers so that you can get to know the maximum about the type of questions which you get about Java. Okay now let's start. So this is your question number two again it has many parts and question number two in total carries 10 marks but it has not only the questions from Java it also has questions from HTML and XML. Like here the first question says write the value that will be assigned to variable x after executing the following statement. This is for one mark and there is an arithmetic statement over here. So we need to evaluate these. So please remember while solving this, we are not doing math, it's programming and in programming we don't have board math, we have hierarchy of operators. So as per the hierarchy of operators, I have multiply and divide on the top level, plus and minus on the lower level and if the operators are of same level, they are evaluated from left to right. So as per that, in this statement, the first thing that would be done is the multiplication. So if I have this expression 3 into 20 upon 5. So multiplication has the highest precedence. So we are going to solve that first and I get 60 at this place upon 5. Then I have to do division. It will be 20 minus 5 plus 60 upon 5 is 12. So I write 12 here. Then we have to do subtraction because subtraction comes first from the left hand side. So whichever comes first is done first. So it will be 15 plus 12 and finally we get 27. Thus the final value in x is 27. So this is for your one mark. Okay. Now the next question is consider the statement choice is equal to y in single quotes. Then what is the data type of variable choice? Write a Java statement to declare the variable choice. Now as I can see there are single quotes around y that simply says that it's a character constant. Since I'm putting a character variable, a character value in the variable, so obviously the variable needs to be a character variable. So what is the data type of the variable choice? It is character. So the answer, first part is data type of variable choice is char that is character and then it asks write a java statement to declare so you have to write a java statement for the declaration of this variable for that we will be using the keyword char and then write name of the variable and a semicolon so declaration is done by the keyword, keyword is always in small letters, so make sure you write char in small letters, char, choice, semicolon. So This is the proper declaration. If you miss semicolon or you write C capital, you might lose marks. So be careful about small things. So it's char, space, choice, semicolon. That is the declaration. Now the next question says, while working in NetBeans IDE, Amit wants that the text in a text area should move to the next line without breaking the words. Which properties would help him to do that? Now, 
the meaning of the question is that when we are typing in the text area and if there is a word which is not able to fit in the same line then it moves the whole word to the next line so which is also called as word wrap or text wrap in your word pad or microsoft word softwares but now it's being asked that if i'm writing this way in the text area which property makes it possible that it moves automatically to the next line so the property name is line wrap so line wrap property of text area should be set to true so that the text moves to the next line should be set to true to move the text to the next line without breaking the word name of the property is line wrap by default it's false so you need to make it true by going into the property window and there you can write line wrap is equal to true so we can set it true from the property window or we can do it with the help of methods as well okay now question d write a java statement to append a string abc to the text that is already in the text area named j text area 1 so append means adding at the end now there is a text area named j text area 1 and there we already have some text what we need to do is we need to add abc at the end so we have a function defined for that and that function is append so we just call append and pass abc to that function like set text overwrites the value the previous value is gone the new value comes in the text area but append will keep the previous content in the text area and will add new content after that so we call j text area one dot append in double quotes abc semicolon that's the answer for your d part so each of these questions for one mark each now the next question that's e part is an html question where it's asked write the output of the following html code and this part is for two marks oh i scrolled it down okay we will here yeah so we need to tell the output of this in this you can see the tag used is ol ol stands for ordered list in html Start is equal to 4 means that you don't have to start numbering from 1. The numbering should start from 4. So the first point will be 4. Or I can write here. First point will be 4 and the first point given in the code is bake the mixture. So I'm just going to write the same text. We don't have to make any changes to the text. So mixture in oven for an R. Take the mixture in oven for an R will be your fourth point and the automatically the next point will be five. So it will be fifth point and after that I'll be having sixth point. That is allow the mixture to stand. So I'm not writing the complete line. So allow the mixture. It's the same line you have to write here. And then seventh point is serve. So this will be the output of your HTML code. So usually it's not as much like what will be the output of the HTML code, but you can expect anything. So you should know all HTML tags. They might ask you to write the OL code for a given list or they might give you the code where you have to write the output like they asked last year. Okay, now F part is given below is a code. That is message, then there is text, hello world, text closed, message closed. Which language is used to write the above code? What are message and text? Now, if you look at these tags and if you have prepared your HTML, you would be wondering that you've never done such tags. There were no 
tags like message, text, and all in HTML. Yes, there are not. So HTML, these are not HTML tags, but these are tags. So we have your language named XML, extensible markup language, where we can define our own tags. So these are basically the tags defined in XML. So which language is it? It is XML. So I would say that I'm using XML over here. So XML language is being used and this message text are opening tags and message text are closing tags. So that's your tags. And then we have question G from Java that is rewrite the following code using if else if statement instead of switch. So this is a kind of question which comes every year. You have a question where the code is given in switch and you have to write with if, or if the code is given with if, you have to write with switch. So it's given with switch, we have to write with if. So I have to first see that which variable they have used with switch. The variable used is success. That means I have to check all conditions on success. What we basically need to check is equality. So case is minus one. That means if success is equal to minus 1, x1 should be no result. So the same thing I'm going to write here. Success, that is whatever variable is there with switch, double equal to sign for equality and the value of the case. Value of the case is minus 1, so I'm going to write minus 1 here. And then without making any change in the statement. You don't have to change the statement what is written in the switch. Just write it as it is. They have written x1 is equal to no result. I've written the same thing, x1 is equal to no result. You're not going to write system.out or t1.setText over here from your own. So just copy the same line what's given here. We don't use break in f, so we just give the next else if. This is case 0. That means when success is 0, then I have to put the value in x1, which is final result not successful okay and then we don't have to give break here we get final else because default means else if all above conditions are false whatever is given in else that should be executed so we just write here result not known that's it so don't have any curly brackets here because all else have had single statement so for single statement you don't need to give curly brackets so that's your code we have converted switch to if for two marks. It was quite simple. So if you follow the pattern properly, this is not difficult at all to get these 10 marks. So I hope you understood how to answer these questions. So this was your question paper of 2017 outside Delhi, question number two. That's it in this video. In the coming video, I'll be explaining question number four of the same paper.